Crafty Peeps, what is up? Happy Monday. Um, today we are working on the second week in my creativity journal. Um, if you haven't seen the first video in this, I don't want to call it series, but the first video of this project where I kind of talk about my heart for this project and what my intentions are, I highly recommend you go back and watch week one so you know what I'm doing. Um, again, I am borrowing this idea. I'm having meltdowns already, you guys. It's, it started early with this one, but um, I borrowed this idea from Crystal Becker. And it's just a way to house all the things that I've been making and sharing and my thoughts for each project and my heart behind each project and just a way to house more words and stories. Also, it's a way to stash bus. I just needed a place to play. I love being able to just get into my supplies and actually make things. And so this was a good place to just get in and play. Now, the reason you saw me having a meltdown is because I decided to use one of those rotary date stamps to stamp down the days of the week. This is week two. So I'm working in January and, um, the first time I stamp it, it does not stamp properly and I freak out and then I realize that I'm probably going to make a million other errors on the other six days of the week. And I was right, you guys. I was 100% right. So I'm very glad I didn't just like tank that and throw it away. Um, and now I am pulling out my LE Studio Jane alphabet stamp and I am stamping the first letter of the days of the week. Uh, if you couldn't tell before, we are making a rainbow layout, you guys. I always say that rainbow is my love language. Rainbow is my default setting. Um... And so when I don't have ideas for a page, I typically go with a rainbow. So I'm still using templates from Andrea at Retro Hip Mama. I will, as always, link everything I can find in the description box. And the colors I used are, let's see if I can remember. I used Abandoned Coral, Spiced Marmalade. I'm going in the order that you see them. So Abandoned Coral, Spiced Marmalade, Fossilized Amber, Mowed Lawn, Broken China. Um, I think the navy is Chipped Sapphire. And then the purple is either seedless preserves or dusty concord. Now I got to go look at my list because I thought I could do this off the top of my head and I cannot. But I just stamped the first day of the week um, in a rainbow, like rainbow fashion using those LE Studio stamps. I love a big blocky alphabet stamp, you guys. There's something so good about a big blocky alpha and I am, I am a sucker for them. I have so many of them in my stash. The LE Studio ones and the Carrie Bradford ones are my favorite. And those are the ones I reach for over and over. So now... I am rearranging my papers. And so I use a bunch of papers from the Willow Lane collection by Maggie Holmes because I just have so much of it in my stash. It was one of my favorite Maggie Holmes collections. And you know when you buy backups for your backups? I did that this time. So I have so much of it. Um, and I, I, I keep saying going forward, I need to be choosy about what I spend my money on because there's only so much time in the day and so many scrapbook pages you can make. And when you hoard supplies like I do, it's outrageous. And so I am working on using things up and I'm also working on not bringing home as much stuff. Um, like, don't get me wrong, I like stamps and I like inks and those things, but when it comes to, like, papers and stuff, I'm trying not to buy the entire collection, trying not to buy every single piece of pattern paper that gets released because it's just, it's just too much and I can't use all of it. But for this one, I decided I was going to put every color on this page. And you see, I'm treating the grid really fast and loose this time. So I cut my background papers down to the size of the individual boxes on Andrea's template. I rearranged my rainbow on the background and then you see when I put my photos I'm just kind of scattering them wherever it feels good because I've covered the whole background paper in pattern paper I don't feel like I have to stick to the grid 100% and then you saw I pulled out my phone just to check my Instagram feed I said this last time I use my Instagram feed kind of as a reference so I remember what days I shared what things on and then I typed my journaling in Photoshop and just trimmed it down to um, rectangles I, again, I'm playing it fast and loose with the grid today, so it doesn't matter that the journaling is not the size of any of these grid squares, because I'm not using them. They're just kind of there. Uh, so I typed all my journaling in Photoshop. The projects I'm sharing this week um, in my creativity journal was a project I made for Coco Vanilla. I talk a lot about making Allie Edwards' design team, which is literally a dream come true. I share a layout that I made in my storybook and talked about how it feels to finally document engagement pictures because I don't think I've done any real work on documenting my engagement photos. And then I talked about being a um, guest designer for Ellie Studio. So things that you will have already seen if you follow me on Instagram and if you like watch my YouTube videos, but not things that I've actually gone back and journaled about or wrote how I was feeling about the things that was happening. Um, and that's what I really enjoy about this creativity journal because uh, for me, creativity is very vital to my sense of self. It, it feels like self-care. It is a radical act of self-care for me because there are, I mean, 
let's be honest, I'm sure there's a bunch of other things you could be doing with your day. Uh, before I keep talking, I'm just telling you what I did. I pulled out a black and white polka dot paper and I'm just matting all my photos and matting my journaling. I said this last time that I've started printing my photos um, on glossy sticker paper for this particular project and in my memory planner because glossy sticker paper is just cheaper than the Epson paper that I prefer um, and it's less bulk in the long run. So what I was saying is creativity for me is a radical act of self-care, you know? There are only so many hours in the day. And don't get me wrong, my situation is probably very different from a lot of you because I don't have children, it's just Joshua and I and the cats. So I can be selfish with my time. But there are definitely other things that I could be doing with the time that I spend crafting. Like, you know, the chores still have to get done and dinner still has to get cooked. And I haven't taken my boards yet, so I probably should be studying for those a lot more than I actually am right now. But but those of you who have families and have other time constraints, every time you take out to make something for yourself and to document a story or to journal about something, that is a radical act of self-care and you are choosing to be selfish with your time. And I applaud you for doing that because we have to do what we have to to take care of ourselves first. I think, I think especially as women, it becomes really easy to prioritize what everyone else needs from you before you start talking about what you need from you. And I think carving out time to do the things that bring you joy is definitely worth documenting. And that's what I'm doing in this journal, talking about how it feels to be selfish with my time and to do the things that I enjoy doing. And yeah, a lot of what I make is not a lot, but a chunk of what I make is for design team commitments. And these are commitments I chose to make. You know, no one bullies you into being on a design team. These are commitments I chose to make. But even the projects that I make for design teams, there are still stories that I felt were worth telling. Um, so I'm going to hop off my soapbox now because that was a lot more than I thought I had planned on doing when I started this voiceover. Now we're gonna get back to the project. So you saw, since I had so much empty space, the Willow Lane collection came in with it came with these like tags um, that were in large envelopes and I thought it'd be fun to do some, not, I don't wanna say hidden journaling cause there's nothing on it that's terribly private, but I thought it'd be fun to just have those big envelopes to hold longer stories that I didn't exactly put on the cards. Because on the cards I talk about on the, uh, talk about in the individual projects, but in those tags I talked about what creating that week felt like. Um, this particular week was wild because it was the week that my wedding anniversary with my husband was and there was also pinning that week and so there was so much going on and like I desperately needed to take time to make something because I was starting to get overwhelmed. And so I talked a lot about that and on another one of the cards I talked about what it feels like to be seen and to be heard because I feel like being on teams and being allowed to make stuff for these companies, it feels like being seen. It feels like people want to see me and want to see what I'm making. And so I talked about that on that green card. And also they just fill up space. Like I didn't have that many photos. And even with all the text I have on the page, I didn't have, <laughs> now I'm fighting with score tape. This is why I don't use score tape. Um, I didn't feel like I had enough to fill up the space. And so those giant cards in those envelopes are just a really cool way to fill up space. So I pulled out that butterfly paper because I wanted something more neutral in the sidebar since I already had so much color going on on that page. I pulled out that butterfly paper, cut out a strip of it, put it in my sidebar, layered that um, envelope over it, and eventually I'm going to pull out all the embellishments I have left from Willow Lane. I don't know what I'm fighting with. Oh, I'm still fighting with score tape. Um, because my videos go out of order, like I film a bunch of things and then I edit and, and voice over them at a later date, I forgot that this is when I was like sick of my ATG and I refused to refill it. And this is how you know how anti-refilling the ATG I am. I would rather fight with score tape and I hate score tape. I know I say this all the time. I hate score tape. I would rather fight with score tape than actually refill my ATG. But since recording this, I have since refilled my ATG. And so the in the future videos, you don't have to watch me fighting with my, with my, uh, the score tape and getting it everywhere. Cause that, that's cause for many meltdowns when things don't rip the way they're supposed to. So now I'm pulling out all my embellishments from the Willow Lane collection. Um, and when I tell you I bought backups for my backups, you guys, I have a lot of stuff. It's kind of outrageous how much I have. Um, so I just decided that I was going to stick down as much as possible. Like I was just going to hyper embellish this. Uh, the good thing about playing it fast and loose with the grid is I can just put stuff where, I mean, it's my layout so I could like period put stuff wherever I want. But with me not sticking to the, the layout of the grid, I feel like I had freedom to just start sticking things down. Like I said in my previous video, I was treating these like scrapbook pages that just happened to be on a grid. So I am, again, 
playing it nice and loose with the grid. I pulled out one of those color cast designed uh, wood veneer uh, to put out another one that said January because I still had two left from my pack of them. Um, and now I'm going into my color cast design stash because I figured since I'm putting one wood veneer down, you guys know how I feel about putting things in groups of three. So I pull out my stash of like the tiny word uh, banners. I honestly don't remember what the ones that I picked now say because I've already filed this layout away, but they say things like that's awesome and that's exciting. And I put two more down across the page. So now I have three of them. And now I'm literally just working on embellishing. So I pull out that cardstock stickers. I am so close to killing that sticker sheet. Um, and then I never have to use it again. So I'm literally putting down as many stickers as I want everywhere. I am layering stickers, layering that wood veneer piece over a label sticker. That is my favorite way to use labels these days is just to use them as layering pieces. Um, I do that a lot with the layers that I have from Allie Edwards. I have a bunch of Studio Calico labels that are sitting around, and so I'm just using them as label pieces. They are a convenient place to house a story, but for me, they make really convenient pieces to be put to put behind something else. Sorry, that, that got stuck in my mouth. So now I'm embellishing that yellow envelope because it's it, there's no like phrase on it, it's empty. So I'm layering a mix of cardstock stickers and that like puffy foam sticker. I love that rainbow. I like, I love the colors in the Willow Lane collection and that's how I got suckered into. That is not correct. I didn't get suckered into buying it, but that's what sucked me into it. I love the colors. I love that it feels like a rainbow, but it's muted. Like it's still bright and beautiful, but it's not like primary color bright, but you still get like a rainbow feel. And I didn't even have to like dig to find rainbow papers. I flipped through the six by eight paper pad and I was like, oh my God, Tashiana, you could totally make a rainbow layout right now. Go for it. And that's what I did. So now I'm digging into those foam, those foam stickers and adding a few more bits and pieces. And then I decide I wanna work on my sidebar. And so I'm going back and forth, trying to decide what I wanna do with the sidebar. And I think I eventually use some cardstock stickers, but I got distracted by, <laughs> by those tassel bows because they were sitting on my desk. And I think I only had two more left in that pack. And can I tell you something, you guys? Don't judge me. But after I put all this stuff away, I realized I have a second pack of those tassel bows. So now I have like six more of them to use on a future layout, which is fun because I really like the texture of those tassel bows. I like the embroidery floss and I like having like fabric on my layouts now. Like I go through these phases of what I like and what I don't like and I'm all about having fabric on my layouts right now so I layer a few of those banner pieces and another label in the top uh left the top left corner for my sidebar and now I'm just trying to find a sentiment uh I think first I grab a coffee cup you know I probably should have this layout in front of me as I'm voiceovering it so I can tell you exactly what I'm doing because it's almost like I'm watching this the way you guys are and I'm trying to remember what I did but I know I layered um a coffee cup in the sidebar and then I get some puffy stickers those um those stickers that I have right now they came in a sheet of four and there were a bunch of little flowers and leaves I have killed those stickers those are like my favorite things I use them in my planner all the time because they're very very flat they're paper they're not even cardstock they're paper stickers and they're super cute and they're glossy and I love the colors and how small they are so I layer two flowers and two leaves. I add that coffee cup. I eventually pull out some puffy stickers. And you know my approach to puffy stickers. They are like confetti. They are the sprinkles on the cake. I just, I put them literally everywhere. So I scatter a bunch of puffy stickers everywhere across my page. Uh, the puffy stickers in this pack had hearts. They had like little words that said hello. They were a bunch of little like animals, which were super cute. I think I put down a little house. I don't think I put down any of the animals though, but I definitely put down some of the hearts and the house and the one that says hello. And then I realized that I actually don't put, I don't have anything that says the title like the week or anything. So I grab these uh, alphabet stickers. These were in the same pack as the hearts. Um, the tiny flowers on the paper stickers that I showed you guys earlier. And now I'm trying to figure out where to put my two. I end up putting it right on top of where that paper is in the sidebar and that completes the layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I loved making this rainbow page and I love sharing it with you guys. So please give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you're so inclined. And let me know what you think about this series in the comments. Till next time, keep it crafty and have the best day and I will see you around. Bye!